Two of the following videos are true, go. while the other one is trash. Can you spot the fake? Round three, let's begin. If you take a bike wheel that's attached to a string like this and drop it, the bike wheel quickly sure. falls. But if you spin the wheel very fast before letting go, the spinning bike wheel stays vertical for quite some time. Yep, all due to angular momentum. Gyroscopic stabilization like this is used in reactor coolant pump flywheels, so they can coast through short-term power loss. Some control rod drive mechanisms are also flywheel based. And spins around like this. A regular straw works great for one person, but if yeah. you want to make a two-person straw to share a drink, you can add a Y fitting, and this still allows either person to drink out of their mouthpiece anytime they want. No, not anytime. Fluid dynamics gets tricky when you have shared system coupling. So if two people suck at the same time, they're going to compete and whoever sucks harder is going to drive more fluid. In nuclear plants, shared coolant headers must be coordinated to ensure optimal fluid flow. Take a CD and scratch off the surface to reveal oh, the clear plastic underneath. You can heat this up with a lighter until it starts to melt and then blow into it to make a plastic bubble. Yes, exposing thermoplastic underneath and it will inflate just like a bubble. Kind of like a soft reactor seal expanding under pressure. Also used in gaskets and radiation shield. Polymer behavior is tested extensively. You've seen all three videos B now. Pause to vote in the fake. comments which one you thought was fake. It means you can't simply add a Y fitting to a straw to make it a two-person straw that either person could use any time. Nope. Requires coordinated sucking.